Here comes Longships, named after a group of rocky islands off the southern coast of Cornwall. She's a lovely boat, actually. We sold her in 2017 to the current owners, and to be honest, they've improved her since. She's in lovely condition. She was blacked when they bought her, and she's just been blacked again a year ago. She's got four new anodes put on her last year, so she's got a total of ten. The engine's just been serviced, April 2022, and there's a full survey available from August 2017, which is available in the office for viewing. Paintwork's in really nice condition. There's a cratch cover there, covering the well deck. The well deck is four feet long. The water tank's underneath it, stainless steel, 800 litres. She's got a bow thruster up there, as well as the uh, storage locker for the gas bottles are under the well deck forward locker. She's got mirrored glass. Or there's a film on the window, so you can see out from inside, but not in from the towpath. Lovely pram hood, very tall, very good for standing up in and motoring if the weather's inclement. The front bit folds up and she's semi-traditional. So there's the cockpit, four feet, eight inches long. The engine's in here, very clean in the engine room. There's a barrel shaft 45. I mentioned the bow thruster, hospital silencer. She's lovely to handle and nice and quiet. Very well maintained, as I say. The batteries aren't in there, they're under the starboard locker on the semi-trad deck. There are five domestics. They were new in 2019, 110 amp hour AGMs and one starter. There's also two bow thruster batteries. So reverse layout, so into the galley we go. She's fitted out an American light oak face ply with beach trim. There's the Commodore. Granite worktops in here. The galley itself is uh, 10 feet long, it's a good space. I call those the mason steps coming down because you have to go with your left leg forward. In here is the electrics. There's a three kilowatt inverter charger. There's a Victron MPPT solar controller. There's also a travel pack generator, three k three and a half kVA travel pack generator. I mentioned the solar controller. There are 720 watts of solar power which were fitted in July 2019, so they're quite new. Get your head out of the way, Bumble. Plenty of cupboard space in here. One of the pulley outy things. I'd love for someone to tell me what they're properly called, actually. Full burner gas hob. This cooker was brand new in September 2019. It's also a microwave oven in the kitchen. Stainless steel sink with a cupboard underneath it. This is the fridge. It's a Zanussi that was brand new in October 2019. And on the other side, under the granite worktops there, some shelves, little spice racks or trinket things up there. And this is a freezer, that was brand new in November 2019. They're both 230 volts run off the inverter. Cupboard space in here. A drawer there. Drawer there. <laughs> I think Billy's going to do every one. Yeah, good man. Big cupboard in there. And there's a cupboard under here with the water tank underneath. Hot water on board, I might as well mention that, is heated by the engine, the Ebba Spacker, or an immersion heater. There's a little wine rack there in the cupboards. We're into the breakfast bar now, by the way. The floor is all solid oak. I just noticed the floor there with ceramic tiling in the galley and the bathrooms. This is a breakfast bar area. In here is the washing machine. That was new in November 2021. Just over six foot long this area, so it's good space for eating or doing work on or doing whatever you like, really. A little tip forward cupboard there. Side hatch here. There is a Perspex screen for that side hatch. Keep the weather out and the light in. There's the screen there, actually, just against the kitchen bulkhead. And the saloon itself is 10 feet 9 inches long. There's a very large sofa bed here. That does fit when it's extended. A 40 inch smart television sits on top of cupboards. Some with glass doors, some without. That's a good size in there, look. You get a child to sleep in there, I reckon. That's a reflex lockgate diesel stove. I hear a lot of good things about those, I must say. And there's the view down aft through the saloon. This boat's lovely, I have to say. 
They've kept her beautifully and improved her in many ways. All the new things, as I've mentioned. The bathroom itself is seven feet two inches long. The loo's a macerated pump out. That basin is ceramic. Granite worktops again, or countertops, whatever you call them. Sliding door into the cupboard underneath. That goes both ways. Heated towel rail in here. And the shower is a quadrant style shower, good size. The heating, as mentioned, the towel rail, there are three radiators on board and that towel rail. The, uh, the heating's never spack of diesel fired system. That was brand new in July 2019. Into the bedroom, 10 feet long. The bed itself is 6 feet 6 inches long. It, it's four and a half feet wide, uh, 4 feet wide, but extends to 5 feet very easily. You can see the mattress infill there. There is storage underneath. That's the extendable bit. Bit difficult when you're holding a camera with one hand. At the foot of the bed's a decent sized wardrobe, sliding doors, shelves above it. There we go. Storage under these steps here. Your water pump. And on the starboard side, there's some uh, sort of little dressing table, I suppose. A couple of small drawers there and a bank of four more substantial drawers underneath that. You can see the bungs there for the portholes, keep the light out. Little spring up um, table there, I suppose, for coffees or teas or gin and tonics. Or nighttime sherries, whatever you like. And out into the well deck. Nice glazed cratch board. Storage under here. Lots of fenders on this boat, actually. In there are the gas bottles, two six kilo bottles with a changeover valve. And under here, there's an anchor and a rope and another place to store things. Nice glazed doors there. So we'll have another wander back through. All the lighting on board is LED. There's a landline on board, actually. She's got landline hookups either end of the boat. That's actually very useful. Not many people think of that. I've mentioned the inverter. I've mentioned the travel power. Got a myriad of navigation equipment. There are two, two fuel tanks on her. One for propulsion, one for the central heating, if you're honest about the splits these days. And that's it, that is, that's long ships. Lovely to see her back actually, particularly in such nice condition. Breaks your heart when you sell a nice boat a few years ago and it comes back not so nice, but this one is nicer. So there we go, for further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.